Hey guys, back with another video today. Uh, my friend hit me up saying he wants a tips and tricks video on this game. It's called The Wolf. It's an online simulator game. And so he lended me account, his account because I don't have one. And this game is on mobile. So I'm doing this video. And if you hear my truck in the background, sorry, I had to go outside because uh, there's a lot of background noise in my house right now. So I just went out to my truck and it's cold, so it's on. So let's get into this video right away. Without further ado, there's two modes. There's PvP and PvE. So PvE is player versus environment and PvP is player versus player. You unlock PvP around level 5. So once you get level 5, I would recommend going to PvP because that's the best way to level up best way to get xp and also the points in the top right corner uh so definitely do pvp especially if you have like three friends playing this game that you know uh then join pvp together because you could add friends and you could like invite them or you could join them so definitely go as a group so now i'm gonna show you attributes what you do with the points at the top you press this arrow right here and then what you do is there's health defense attack and speed four attributes to upgrade uh you also i'll tell you that later so health maxes out somewhere in the triple digits defense maxes out in 65 attack like 750 so you'll have to be shaquille o'neal to max that out pay pay that stuff or something you know real money uh, speed max out 60 so I recommend like upgrading all of them you know a bit but get defense max first and then speed and then have try to have like your attack 30 points higher than uh, than health or at least above like maybe 20 minimum above health so if you are paid to win like say you have the same defense but you're only level 1 uh, your number will be lower than this because when you level up this you also get a small boost in uh, Everything Just to let you know So that's that so now let's get into the skills right here. So you press the skills right here the power button or whatever that is And I'm gonna just tell you what I recommend and what to upgrade and stuff So first of all, I recommend just using the original double claw upgrade that it has 10 second cooldown and it's also like delivers a bunch of damage this uh this damage percentage goes based upon your attack damage which is the, in the attributes so attack damage 154 so 154 times 619 percent is how much you do um so that's for the basic now you have auras if you have damage boost, I would get that, unlock that, and upgrade it. And then as soon as you get rage, um, unlock it, but don't use it. Because if, if damage boost is level 8, and you're getting this much for damage boost, but then you unlock this, and you're only getting this much, you're missing out a lot. So upgrade this to maybe like 3. And then after it's 3, I would switch it to rage. Or two, three or two, you know, because you get health boost, speed boost, and damage boost. So, but definitely after you unlock rage, you just stop upgrading damage boost and just start upgrading rage. Uh, another thing is uh, for special. Um, so first things before you have poison cloud is use frost nova. Just don't upgrade it. Just use it because what it does is it slows them and it also does pretty good damage. And the cooldown's only forty seconds. But after you get Poison Cloud unlocked, um, just use that because what it does is it's a cloud and if they step into it for one second or whatever and they come out, they'll still be getting damaged and it's 218% damage per second. So um, if you have Freezing Breath, you could also use that. But the thing is, is that you have to aim this. It's not like the cloud. You have to, it comes out of your mouth. So wherever you're pointing, it, it hits them. But this does also slow them down, and it's a lower cooldown, so it's up to you. But I would recommend Poison Breath, or I mean Poison uh, Cloud. Reason why I don't recommend Thunderstorm is because one, look at that damn cooldown, bro. Holy crap! It's longer than the freaking week. 
Um, and also, it's not damage per second, which, like, so you get 8 hits, right? But only 360% damage, while for Poison Cloud, I'm doing 218% damage for 6 seconds. Like, per second. Like, it's insane. For the totems, I would do Explosive Trap, and yeah, that's it. Um, unless you want to be like a team person, then just use a life regenerating toma totem, but the cooldown's insane. So, explosive trap, and then I would make a preset too, and have it as freezing trap. And maybe even a, a, a healing, but that's up to you. Just always have a freezing trap or whatever you want. So, the reason why I say that is because I'll, I'll do it right now. So you could have two traps at once activated as long as they're different. So I'm going to put out the explosive trap. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button right here. which switches my presets. <coughs> Sorry. So there's a, that's what the trap looks like right there, boys. Zoom out here. Sorry if you hear like some phone or something. It's a rate, my bad, boys. So now I'm going to put out the freezing trap. There's a freezing trap, so you could use this all the time. And so, back to preset one. These traps won't go away if I die. They only go away if someone goes into them or if you replace them. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, another thing is, only use damage boost if, uh, one, you have your poison cloud or like your heavy damage, your heavy special skill, uh, cool down all the way done. And also only and do it do the damage boost or rage before you activate poison cloud or like your skills. Otherwise you don't get any of the damage. Like I did there. So as you see I did poison cloud, then I attacked him with my double claw and I put out the mine. With my damage boost still on. And I just killed him and he's like he's sky. He's level forty four, so he's three levels above me. And I killed him easily. There's one more thing I want to let you guys know. Uh, it's more for advanced players that played this a lot. It took me a, a while to get this down, and I still don't even have it fully mastered. There's some people on this game that like to do it all the time, and it's kind of annoying. Is It's called Air Bite to the forums. That's what they call it. It pretty much boosts your range so much. It's insane. So over here, there's two things right here. They're running away from me. There's two things right here. I'm going to try to do it. You aim this way, you aim different way, because if you press the attack, it's just going to auto-aim. So aim, like, away from them. You could do this on wolves, too, like PvP PV, or PvE. So aim away from them, and then go back and hit. So see how I hit them from here? So, like, back, and then, like, turn. And that's how you do it. So the closer they are, the more you have to turn. There, I just got a critical strike. You could also do it with the skills, so I'm going to try it. There you go, I just did it with the skills. I don't know if you saw the number right there, but that guy's almost dead. Uh, you can't use it with really Poison Cloud because, like, see, because the Poison Cloud goes where you are pretty much. Um, but that's what air biting does. I hope I've explained it good enough. But you could do that with, like, if a, if a wolf's, like, if you guys are just staring at each other because he placed a trap over there, you could just go like this and be like, oh, I'm hitting you. That way he's losing health, so that way he's either going to run back or he's going to try to charge you. So, that's just a good tip to have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for the background music. And if you guys any more games that you want tips and tricks on, I'll do some research on it and I'll post a video. Also, if you want any games for hacks, comment and I'll try to get it done. I also have, I've been working on the video for Trucks Off-Road. Uh, for Apple, the hack, it's just you have to have an Apple computer. So for people that don't have an Apple computer, they can't do it, which kind of sucks. But that's how Apple is. You can't access the files without a computer. But I hope you enjoy. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching.